The last thought in my head is that a, a brand new device is going to burn down my car or my house. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 product launches gone wrong. It didn't go through, that's so that's a, that's a plus side. For this list, we're looking at times companies regretted how one of their items was released to the masses. Did you experience any of these problems? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Betamax Released in 1975, the Sony Betamax was a type of cassette recorder that immediately found itself in a videotape format war. With the Betamax at your command, you'll never again be deprived of watching whatever program you desire. It was released around the same time as its big rival VHS. Eager consumers debated which one was worth their hard-earned money. And in nearly every way, the VHS was superior. It was cheaper, it had a longer recording time, and the picture and sound quality were on par with its competitors. You can record what you want, when you want, and watch what you want, when you want. Betamax couldn't catch up right out of the gate. Unsurprisingly, VHS eventually won the format war and turned Betamax into an expensive niche product. The swift downfall of the Betamax is now the subject of case studies. A triple play! You've just seen a triple play! No, I didn't. Number 9. Microsoft Bob Before Clippy popped up as the paperclip assistant in Microsoft Office, there was Bob. Unfortunately, he wasn't nearly as memorable. Microsoft Bob was launched in March of 1995. This software program was meant to help inexperienced computer users understand their devices better. Despite being widely publicized, Bob was immediately met with hostility. Ironically, some users actually found that Bob made navigating their computers more complicated. In the months after its launch, it had abysmal sales that fell well short of Microsoft's expectations. Poor Bob was discontinued less than a year after he appeared. He was soon derided as one of Microsoft's biggest and most public failures. Number 8. Touch of Yogurt Shampoo The last thing that shampoo producers want is their clientele eating the shampoo and getting sick. However, that's exactly what happened to Clairol's Touch of Yogurt Shampoo. Get the rich shampoo with a touch that's new. Touch of Yogurt This product was infused with actual yogurt. Oddly enough, it turns out consumers didn't want to put anything yogurt-related into their hair. And the reports of people consuming the shampoo because they believed that the inclusion of yogurt made it edible certainly did not help the poor sales. The product was a huge bomb for parent company Clairol and quickly faded into obscurity. Touch of yogurt, get the touch. Number 7. Antenna Gate In 2010, the iPhone 4 received a massive number of pre-orders. But some unlucky consumers were soon frustrated by a flawed phone. But just as jubilant new owners opened the boxes, tech bloggers were reporting problems. While there were a few technical problems with the devices, the worst drawback led to antenna gate. Thanks to a bad antenna design, holding the phone in the bottom left corner often caused the signal to be lost. Our engineers found that when you place your finger on the gap between the two antennas on the lower left-hand side of the iPhone 4, Signal strength can drop by about 20 decibels. As calls were randomly being dropped left and right, the media quickly picked up the story. People even wanted to sue Apple for this design flaw. The company offered free bumpers to iPhone 4 owners to prevent the signal from cutting out. While Apple would later overcome this negative publicity, it was still an embarrassing launch for them. Apple shares were already down before this headline crossed. They've uh, taken another leg down, so kind of adding to their losses. Number six. Healthcare.gov. Hello, everybody. I want to talk with you about a new consumer website, healthcare.gov. Signed into law in March of 2013, the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, promised to overhaul the United States healthcare system. Healthcare.gov was subsequently established to help the public receive health insurance. But when it first debuted, few users were able to access the website. Those that did make it through were met with countless technical glitches, endless wait times, and a broken system that made navigation extremely frustrating. The problems, and there are dozens of them at healthcare.gov, are much worse than we've been told. It was a complete mess and was fiercely criticized in the media. 
by the end of the website's first week. It was estimated that only 1% of its users were successfully enrolled. President Obama even appeared in a press conference where he admitted that the website was thoroughly busted. Despite all that, thousands of people are signing up and saving money as we speak. Number 5. Virtual Boy Despite all the good Nintendo has done, the company has made some pretty notable blunders. One of their biggest regrets came in the summer of 1995. The Virtual Boy promised to lead gaming into the future thanks to 3D graphics. Virtual Boy presents more challenges inside the third dimension. However, the console didn't get as much attention during production since the company was more focused on perfecting the Nintendo 64. This caused the Virtual Boy to be released in an unfinished state. It was expensive, playing it was uncomfortable, the games were bad, and they weren't even in 3D. Virtual Boy, see it now in 3D. Worst of all, the monochromatic red display could make players sick. Some experts worried that using the display could cause permanent brain damage. It still stands as Nintendo's worst-selling solo console for good reason. Wait till they get a load of me! <laughs> Number 4. Xbox One Connect. When the original Connect for the Xbox 360 first hit the market, it sold relatively well. But then Microsoft made a questionable decision. They announced that every Xbox One would be bundled with a Connect. This is it, Xbox One. Players were worried about privacy that the device required an always-on internet connection, and it originally needed to be on for the core Xbox One to even work. Furthermore, its inclusion resulted in the Xbox One being $100 more than the PS4. This strategy led to terrible initial sales for Microsoft. And since developers weren't making a ton of great games for the Kinect, it was basically a $100 piece of decoration. It was quickly phased out and eventually forgotten. Today we're introducing a new Xbox One without Kinect for $399. Number 3. New Coke After a century of dominating the world's soft drink market, Coca-Cola is changing. This cautionary tale just goes to show how much Americans value Coca-Cola. When the soda company was falling behind, it decided to mix things up by introducing a new formula. But it only made things worse. It's a cake. Coke was met with a mixed to harsh reception. In some regions of the US, some consumers saw the change to the formula as an offensive move. It was also mocked publicly everywhere from TV shows to sports games. As the company was bombarded with calls and complaints, some protesters even dumped the drink out on the streets. Old Coke was swiftly brought back to stop the backlash. In the end, New Coke became a cautionary tale for the old phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is Coke nervous? Not at all. We've never had more fun in our life. Number 2. Tesla Cybertruck In November of 2019, Tesla unveiled its electric Cybertruck. It was meant to replace traditional gas-powered trucks while looking like something that NASA would send to the moon. If we're going to go bold, we need to do something that breaks that norm. Tesla already had to deal with people criticizing the truck's physical design. However, things got worse after an onstage accident. Vehicle designer Franz von Holzhausen demonstrated the truck's strong armor glass windows by throwing a metal ball right at them. Oh my Hilariously, it shattered the glass and caused Elon Musk to try to deflect on stage. Tesla's stock fell right after this embarrassing display. Maybe the company would have been better off, you know, just driving the car instead. So I was not expecting that, and, I, and then I, I think I muttered under my breath. <laughs> like, oh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Number 1. The Galaxy Note 7 Apple thought they had a nightmare on their hands with the iPhone 4, but that was paradise compared to what Samsung had to deal with. An urgent new message from Samsung. Turn off your Galaxy Note 7s immediately to avoid something like this happening to you. Released in August of 2016, the Galaxy Note 7 immediately found itself in hot water thanks to a worrying design flaw. The phone's internal battery was prone to overheating. This could result in the phone either catching fire or just straight up exploding. This Illinois woman says her Note 7 exploded on her nightstand. The phones were recalled just two weeks after launch on September 2nd. Although Samsung gave the devices different batteries, the replacements were no better. 
and the company was forced to stop production and service on all Galaxy Note 7s in October. The incident cost the company billions and a lot of goodwill. Will there be a Note 8 or is the Note brand dead forever? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.